Ever deal with a rough idle random misfires or a check engine light that just won't go away only to have your mechanic tell you nothing's technically wrong? A corrupted or outdated ECU can cause exactly that. Your car's ECU is the brain of the engine, and when its learned data gets messy, the whole system goes haywire. The good news? In many cases, a simple reset can clear the glitches and bring your engine back to life. In this video, I'll show you the most effective ECU reset hack any driver can do when it actually works, and the step-by-step -step process to do it safely. The most effective ECU reset method. The simplest and most reliable method we recommend is a battery disconnect reset. In a nutshell, you cut power to the ECU long enough to drain its capacitors, forcing a hard reboot of the computer. Mechanics and DIYers widely accept this trick as a quick fix. Here's why it works. When you remove the battery's negative terminal, the ECU loses its power source. Any volatile memory is erased once the remaining charge drains. Experts suggest leaving the battery disconnected for about 15 to 30 minutes to ensure a full reset. This time window is generally enough to let all residual energy in the ECU discharge. Some sources cite 15 minutes as sufficient on most cars, while others recommend up to 30 minutes on newer models with larger memory capacitors. Either way, a quarter hour is a good rule of thumb. After this wait, reconnecting the battery restores power and forces the ECU to boot up with factory default parameters. Why it's effective? This hard reset is free, requires only basic tools and applies to nearly any car. It clears the ECU's volatile memory and resets adaptive settings. Because it literally cuts power, it's far more thorough than a simple code. Nearly all auto shops acknowledge that disconnecting the battery is an accepted way to reset the engine computer. The main downside is losing radio preset memory and the need for the ECU to relearn. Otherwise, it's safe for the vehicle. Step-by-step -step ECU Reset Guide Follow these steps precisely to reset your ECU by battery disconnect. Turn off the engine and accessories. Make sure the car is completely off. Remove the key, close all windows and switch off lights, radio, AC, etc. This prevents any current draw while you work. Open the hood and locate the battery. The car battery is usually at the front of the engine bay. Identify the negative terminal and the positive terminal. Disconnect the negative terminal using an appropriate wrench. Loosen the bolt on the negative terminal. Remove the cable from the battery post and push it aside so it cannot touch the battery by accident. Wait for 15 to 30 minutes. Allow the vehicle to sit with the negative cable off. This pause lets any stored power in the ECU drain out completely. We recommend at least 15 minutes. Up to 30 minutes is even better if you have time. Reconnect the negative terminal. After waiting, firmly reattach the negative cable to the battery post and tighten the bolt. Ensure the connection is clean and snug so power is fully restored. Turn the ignition to on, insert the key, and turn it to the on position without starting the engine. You should see dash lights come on but do not crank the engine yet. Leave it on for about 10 seconds. This allows the ECU to initialize itself. Start the engine and idle. Now, start the car and let it idle for a few minutes. The engine may run a bit rough or behave oddly as the ECU adjusts. This is normal. Test drive the vehicle. Finally, take the car for a short drive around town. Pay attention to how it feels. If the reset was successful, you may notice smoother acceleration and no more hesitation or stalling. If problems remain, there could be a deeper issue requiring diagnosis. Each of these steps is important. In particular, the waiting period after disconnecting is critical for a full reset. Think of it as giving the ECU time to forget everything stored in its memory. Once you turn the car on again, the computer will think it's brand new and start from factory settings. After the reset, relearning phase. Right after the reset, the car's behavior will change until the ECU relearns your engine's parameters. Expect the following. Initial rough idle. It's common for the engine to idle unevenly or stall slightly when first started. The ECU is figuring out base fuel trims and timing from scratch. This usually smooths out within the first few minutes of driving. Improved performance. Over time, as you drive, 
the ECU collects fresh data and optimizes performance. Over the next several miles, throttle response and fuel economy should noticeably improve. Many drivers report that their car feels new once the ECU has relearned. Monitoring warning lights. After a reset, all old error codes are erased. If the check engine light illuminates again soon after resetting, it means a real fault was present. Take note of any new warning lights as they indicate issues that need fixing. Patience is key. The full relearning process can take anywhere from a few minutes to a few days of normal driving. During this time, avoid aggressive driving and simply treat the car normally. The ECU will gradually adapt to your driving style and engine's condition. Don't be alarmed by a temporary rough idle or fluctuating RPMS immediately after the reset. These are signs that the ECU is doing its job of calibration. Just drive gently for a bit, and the system should settle into an improved state.